Hello and welcome! Today I'm going to show you how you can organize your pictures in Lightroom in under 5 minutes. As you can see, I still have Lightroom 5, however the process will be exactly the same if you have Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC. So first thing you want to do is go to Library and then to Folders right here. Then you want to open the folders and what this will show you is all your hard drives you have connected to your computer or in your computer. You might have one hard drive here, you might have two, you might have even more. On my C drive I have my operating system with all of my programs. On my D disk are all of my pictures and on my E disk are just all of my videos. So regardless if you have one or more hard drives, just go to the hard drives you store your pictures on, in my case the D drive, and open that one. Then you're gonna see a folder right here. And what you want to do is click on it, then right click and create new folder inside. Name it something like photos, images, all of my photos, all of my Lightroom images, you know, something along those lines. So once you've done that, you'll have a folder. In my case, that's just called Builder, which is German for pictures. So don't let you distract from that. And what you want to do is create a new folder for every year you've taken pictures and you want to bring them into Lightroom. So if you've just started photography a few months ago, just go ahead and make a folder with the name 2015. If you've been taking pictures since five years and you want to bring them into Lightroom, just go ahead and create multiple folders, you know, 2010, 2011, 2012, etc. So once you got that, you're gonna have something like this. And the next thing you want to do is just go on every folder with a year on it you've made previously press right click and create new folder inside. And here you want to create 12 folders in every single year with the months. But it's important that you set the 01 before January, 02 before February, otherwise it won't come in a list. So once you've done that, you'll have something like that. These are just in German, so don't let you distract from those. So you're gonna have 01 January, 02 February, 03 March, etc. all the way to December in every single folder of the year. And that's already everything you wanna do right now. The only other thing would of course just drag your images you've taken in the past in these respective folders with the right date. And then whenever you go out to take pictures and you come back to your computer and open Lightroom, you just go to your folder of the month and the year you've been taking these pictures and either you can just drag them into the month folder or you can right click and create a new folder inside that month folder with the name of your shoot. For example, landscape Yosemite or portrait of a person or wedding from the Smiths, you know. You get the idea. Of course if you want to do that or just drag them into your month folder directly is up to you and kind of depends on how many pictures you actually take. So now you have all of your pictures well organized in one folder which is really really nice. You never have to search for different photos on different hard drives and you don't know where you place them. You won't have a chaos anymore. And the great thing also is you just have one folder so it's incredibly easy easy to back up to an external hard drive. So yeah, that pretty much concludes my tutorial. Of course there are other options where you can organize your pictures like with collections or with keywords, but personally I think they're not nearly as necessary or as helpful as this organizing I show you right here. Also keep in mind that that's just my personal way I like to organize my pictures and that just works the best for me. Thank you so much for watching, if you found this video helpful I would be happy if you could share this on Facebook or Twitter with your friends. If you have any comments leave them in the comment section down below and please subscribe to my YouTube if you would like to see more videos just like this one, other Lightroom guides, Lightroom editing tutorials, other photography related videos, all kind of stuff. So be sure to subscribe for that. Thank you very much for watching, have an amazing day.